scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. But when you have so much, go and read the story of the rich man and Jesus. Good master, what do I need to do to inherit eternal life? He said, go and do this and that. He said, I have kept this from my youth. And it was true. Jesus said, one more test. Go and sell. He didn't say give. Sell. Use your creativity. Sell. And then give everything from your selling. It's easy to give what you were given. But it's difficult to get what came as a result of your transaction. Your value, your effort, your energy was part of that process. He says, give all to the poor. Then when you are done giving, come and follow me. And the man said, why are you doing this to me? Listen to me. Man of God, if the Lord should ask you to lock up your ministry now, do you love him enough to do it? Are you willing to stand the controversy of loving God? If God asks you to shut down your conference, your ministry can you do that this night? Nigeria, Plateau State, if the Lord asks you to empty your account as you are looking at me now, remember what is there. Not that you empty it for your children or for politics. Empty it as a proof that you love me. Do you love him enough? to go that far you know we say all kinds of things in church lord i love you i will give everything be careful with that prayer that is the kind of prayer god loves when you say i will give you everything i assure you he will test you on that prayer if you ever pray that prayer i have good news for you he's coming he will vet that prayer thoroughly When he brings you to a point where you are left with nothing, you will know that when you have Jesus, you have everything. So whatever else is added, it does not become connected to you. You see, when you die, God does not just desire to take those things away from you. He desires to take you away from those things. So that the consciousness of those things, you do not build your relevance around those things. He becomes the epicenter of your life. The drive of your destiny. I stand before the God of heaven and I submit to you. Believe me when I tell you that I love Jesus Christ more than ministry. I would tear down ministry like a curtain in one minute if he calls for it. Remember my story of the dead body. When you stand before a dead body, tell the dead body, I'm going to withdraw money from your account. Will it answer? Tell the dead body, I do not acknowledge that you are great. Will it answer? Tell the bo dead body, you are so great. Wake up and receive a handshake. I have been crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And the life that I now live in the body that is the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. 
whatever will bring you glory through my life I say amen let it be Apostle Paul said for me to live is Christ and to die is gain let me give you an advice don't covet people's testimonies until you are willing to go through the process that produced it don't just covet anointings. I'm, I'm, there's, there's nothing wrong in desiring some of those things. But many times, respectfully speaking, when people see me, the first thing they want is impartation. And there's nothing wrong. Sometimes they kneel down and say, Apostle, Elisha asked for two. I'm asking for four. And I'm looking at them with deep compassion. Do you know the kind of death that brings you certain levels of glory? You want to tell the sick be healed and he's healed? It takes more than cramming scripture, my dear people. You want to speak over destinies and the tulip gates of their lives open. It takes more than oratory and utterance. Blood must be dripping on your altar as a sign that you really died. It is from that that power flows. Genuine spiritual power that produces wonder-working results. Unfortunately and respectfully so, we don't teach this again in church. That's why people jump around just coveting things and never see anything happen to them. I tell you the price for genuine power and to be a vessel that reveals the glory of God is more than fasting. Fasting is important. It's more than prayer. It's more than night vigils. The price is death. No matter what you do, if you are still alive in yourself, there is still a long journey for you to go. Are we learning? Romans chapter 8 from verse 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time. I may be describing someone here. You are going through a season that you've not been able to explain. You pray and it looks like certain things are not happening in your life. And yet you pray for others and they come with a testimony. Be patient. There is something God is doing in your life. There is a level of pride and self and flesh that is breaking away from you. A time will come in your life. It will no longer matter again. It's not about me. It's all about you. Jesus. And all this is for you. It's for your glory and your fame. It's not about me. As if you should do things my way. You alone are God. And I surrender to your will. That is the language of people who are dead and surrendered. Completely surrendered. That you love him with your all. Everything he has is given to you. And when it comes to you, it is still his own. If you keep your money in the bank, does the bank say it is their money? Please talk to me. It is with them, but you still say it is my money. And the day that bank calls your money their money, what do you do? Do you have to hate the bank? The moment the bank calls your money their money, you begin to suspect them. Will you add money there again? Just plateau. People of the living God, there is so much that God wants to do with us. But it will take more than just dancing and singing and preaching. It will take even more than just fasting and praying as important as that is. It will take more than just prophesying and dropping prayers. It will take more than just conferences and conventions. The price for all of him is all of you. The price for all of him is all of you. The price for all of him is all of you. The price for all of him is all of you. Preacher, the price for all of him is all of you. Politicians, the price for all of him is all of you. Not your speaking, not your campaign, all of him. Businessmen, 
The price for all of him is all of you. Academicians, the price for all of him is all of you. When we get to a point where our all is surrendered to him, he will make a wonder out of your life. A wonder that will shock you first and then everybody around you. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. You want the anointing of the Holy Spirit? Genuine, authentic power as of old? It takes more than just carrying money to drop before a man of God to pray for you. There is a place for that. But believe me, there are wells that don't come by impartation. You must dig that well through death. It takes more than speaking intelligently to convict hearts that they born and come to Jesus. You can stretch your theological knowledge from border to border and wonder why it does not create any impact. Businessmen, when you do business as a dead vessel, a dead vessel meaning one whose entire life centers around revealing Jesus. From beginning to the end, it will always be it's always been you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. If that child is only your child, it will give you headache till you wrinkle yourself to death. Remember, dear parent, that you are only a steward, not an owner. Let the owner take responsibility over the child and you will see the power of the owner. If that car is yours, you will maintain it. If that ministry is yours, you will maintain it. The prodigal son had access, but he wanted ownership. Lack started when ownership came. In this kingdom, we don't own anything. Owners are rebels. We are only given access. If God gives you an anointing, it is his anointing at work in you. You walk with that consciousness. He gives you resources. They are, it is his resources only at work through you. This is a very deep revelation that we must have. Tonight, we are going to trust God to lay down our pride. We are going to trust God to lay down every boasting. It is within my power. I know how to organize my life. Except the Lord builds a house. They labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. The watchmen watch it but in vain. It is vain to wake up early, dear Plato State, and to sleep late at night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. My Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. He said, if the Lord has not been by our side, now may Israel say, if God does not lift you, you cannot be lifted. <laughs> A man can receive nothing except he is given. And if you do receive it, you must let your world know that you received it. Your attitude of humility and brokenness. The speed with which you led Jesus to be revealed and glorified in that process. You see, let me tell you this. When your life is committed to revealing Jesus and bringing him glory, there is no end to what he can give you. Pastor Nat got it so precisely. Take the stage, Lord. Have your way. Listen carefully. I'm not just singing. I'm just a vessel. This is not self-condemnation. It is revelation. And nothing more. When you're done using me to be that kingdom millionaire, using me to become that political whatever it is you now become, using me to become that parent, using me to become that great prophet, apostle, man of God, I'm satisfied 
just to see you glorified. Make sure you are not telling lies. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified. my life be glorified be glorified I just want to say turn that song into a prayer while you are seated for some of you the Lord is speaking to you your pride is why the glory cannot be revealed in your life someone is praying talk to Jesus I just come and say is someone talking to Jesus from the depth of your heart? I have believed that ministry will rise. After all, I can prophesy. Who is like me? No, not so. After all, I am Apostle Joshua Selman. No. Someone is praying. This is part of the conference, oh, and this is part of the miracle service already. Pray, let it be. Break that pride once and for all. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that Babu Wanika Maraka. Pray, I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth and found out Babu Wanika Marka. Hey, Babu Wanika Marka. Ya Yesu, Babu Wanika Marka. Babu Wanika Marka. Listen, some of you may have heard me say this. Let me tell you how this song came. I'm not a musician. I was in Cameroon for a meeting and I woke up in the middle of the night. I just sat in the living room and tears were coming down from my eyes as I was just looking at the faithfulness of God in my life. I was just meditating looking at where God took me from and I was just saying oh God only a fool will say in his heart that you cannot lift men and Jesus glorified businessman do your business with the intelligence God has given you but behind your results make sure that all that you get and all that you are are only a means to an end the end being Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified Politician, do your campaign as much as you can and may God grant you the grace while you do so. But remember that whatever you become and whatever you are, never forget that it is only a means. The end being Jesus revealed and Jesus glorified. I have no business doing anything whether you call it ministry or whatever. Before I participate in anything, I want to find out how it will reveal Jesus. If it has no business bringing him glory, you will not get my attention. Some of you, by reason of this conference, in the next two to three minutes, is going to be a time of deep repentance and brokenness. That you will take away your golden crown and cry before the God of heaven search my heart oh God I, I bring my heart like a trophy before you you know my tendencies you know my royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty.
eternity I am undone before Your glorious majesty You're the King of kings and Lord of lords You are the King of kings You are the Lord of lords Someone is praying. Take everything, oh God. I vow that as you use me and as you lift me, that Jesus will be seen through everything. Through everything. The tendencies that are locked up from within our hearts, the appetite to want fame, the appetite to want name, the appetite. Tame those appetites by your spirit. Someone is praying. Two more minutes. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Let it be from the depth of your heart. your banner high will shine your light so bright we'll sing in honor of you lord we will raise your banner high we'll shine your light so bright we'll sing in honor of you Please, if you are yet to submit your prayer request, I just want you to wave it high and an usher would come and pick it right now. We have a few minutes and God will be doing a very quick walk. It's a miracle service tonight. And they glorified God in me. Man of God, God desires that men will see his glory revealed in you. Businessman, parent, student, leaders, God desires the multifaceted dimensions of all that he is to perpetually find expression in and through your life. Can I tell you this? Listen carefully. Believe me, you have not seen prosperity till you die. Die to yourself and to your ambitions. God will take the prayer request of a man for decades and give you as a lover's gift. 
You've not seen influence and increase until you die to yourself. He will give you the keys to the hearts of kings and nations. We have come tonight, number one, to see Jesus exalted and glorified. We have come tonight to see and experience a display of his power as a component of his glory. We have come tonight to experience the wisdom of God. Can I tell you this? Now that you have gotten the message that in your death is your life, in your weakness is your strength, in your allowing Jesus to be revealed is your relevance. Now we can pray. We can pray that he comes upon us to heal the sick. We can pray that he comes upon us to cast out the devils that try to mock his might and his supremacy over lives and over destinies. We can pray that an engracing you did not come for this meeting will rub off on you and you will go back as a sign and a, and a wonder. Are you ready to pray that prayer now? Everywhere all across this field and the overflows, I want you to pray a sincere prayer. Now that your heart is determined to see Jesus glorified, pray one prayer. Lord, do not restrain your hand as far as lifting or blessing me is concerned. Go ahead and pray that sincere prayer and watch the wonder-working power of he who was, he who is, and that which is to come. Please pray. Let your healing power rest upon me. Let your power to restore rest upon me. I desire that my life and everything about me, I desire that it becomes a revelation, an epistle of the wonder-working power of Jesus. Someone is praying. No matter how far, even those outside of this place, pray from the depth of your heart. They will reach you wherever you are. Pray. Oh, 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 my lifting has come. Oh, 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 my lifting has come. Please listen carefully. We're going to do a very, very quick walk here that the Lord is going to be doing tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please, I want you to help the ushers. There are so many people, and there's only so much the ushers can do. So if someone is under the anointing close to you, whether or not you are an usher, please do well to help them so that they don't injure themselves, especially if and when there'll be a need to bring out a few people here. Now, let me tell you why impartations happen and some of these supernatural manifestations it's not just some pentecostal gibberish and jamboree by indisciplined people you have to understand that the language of god is power when the power of god comes it does not do the same thing to everyone for others he's bringing deliverance for them for others he's bringing healing 
for others he's restoring regardless the prayer request it is still power that will answer it according as his divine power had given us all things all things reside within the power of god if the power of god is released many things happen at the same time so don't just focus on the preacher and those shouting under the anointing much more than that you must open up your heart to receive and then for those under the anointing don't you think you are just falling and people are carrying you and bringing you out just for show you must realize that something is happening within you and you must open your heart to receive it are you ready now the first issue we are going to deal with tonight is the issue of delay please look up delay is a spirit i taught you yesterday that the zenith of dominion is dominion over time whatever eats your time has taken something significant from your life but within the economy of god the bible says god can not only restore things but he can restore years and i will restore time when you meet a dying man what he wants is time not things the greatest desire of man whether known or not is time because no matter what leaves you if there is time it can come back but no matter what you have if there is no time it is a waste every other thing finds its value when there is time let me tell you how to know the spirit of delays at work in your life when and if the only thing growing in your life is your age if the only thing growing in your life is your age there is delay because according to the authority of scripture the path of the just should be as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day it is true that the devil can bring delay but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph now i'm going to pray as i rebuke that spirit of delay and declare speed two things will happen you will find out that people will begin to run please i want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and bring them out those under the anointing i want to command that spirit because everything that is not a planting of god it must give way tonight is someone ready to end delay not just for your life but for all who are connected to you now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i stretch my hands by the message of the god of heaven and i decree and declare the spirit of delay i command it broken right now I command it broken right now please begin to bring them out I declare delay be broken I release speed speed to your destiny the power of God comes upon you right now speed in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare speed no more delay speed by the power of the Holy Ghost some of you as God is touching you he's touching your family members no power in existence has what it takes to stop you from moving forward help them please speed I decree and declare upon the plateau in the name of Jesus let delay of all sorts be broken now let delay of all sorts by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ let delay be broken I hear the chains falling yeah. I hear the chains falling Number two, now I want to pray. It's a prayer of restoration. And I see the anointing coming on several people. Hear me. What this grace will do is that everything that left you that should not have gone by this anointing, wherever it is, it returns back. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, 
everything you have lost connections relationships spiritual virtues at the count of three may that fire and that grace that makes for restoration come upon you bring them out one two three help that woman please take that grace now in the name of jesus they are taken for a prey and none say it restore we come with a voice of restoration let there be restoration in the name of jesus everything you have lost let it return to you i prophesy as i was commanded and there was a sound bones came to his bone bones came to his bone business came to his business finances came to finances let there be restoration in the name of jesus christ shout a loud amen let there be restoration now hear me please look at me there are families here you've lost everything literally everything opportunities you were not like this but everything started crashing down finances went down relationships went down connections went down i stand by the power of the holy spirit and i declare by this anointing let that grace come upon you for restoration let that grace come upon you for restoration hear me when saul met prophet samuel the first miracle that happened to him was that everything the donkey that you are looking for has been found there are anointings that can cause everything that strayed from its place of assignment to return back again now i want to pray I don't know how we're going to do it. Let me just pray for those in front first so they can return back. For all of you in front here, I decree and declare by this anointing, experience strange restorations by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus, I speak to you by the anointing that raised Christ from the dead. The grace of priesthood it comes upon you and it brings you restoration. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Hallelujah. This man, that man wearing suit. You, what do you do, my friend? Where? Huh? In just your own ministry. I want to pray for you. You are a sincere man. Please don't be embarrassed. I don't mean to embarrass you. You are a sincere man, but there is so there are so many things for you to learn and understand. But in truth, the call of God is upon your life. And you have been praying and crying that God will anoint you. Please lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you. You will shift into dimensions of the teaching grace and the healing anointing. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Help him please. You will never be the same. Even by the power of the Holy Spirit. He's shifting you to a new dimension. I impart that grace upon you. Access to the wisdom of the Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Madam, this woman wearing green. Mama, something is coming on you. I'm seeing like oil being poured on her head. In the name of Jesus. It's bringing you to a separation by the spirit of God. And God is going to be doing great and mighty things even in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Who is the son of the living God. For all those in front here, I declare you are blessed in Jesus' name. If you can, please return to your seat. I want to minister the power of the Holy Spirit now. That's why I want them to clear the way. Now, please hear me. I believe that everyone who names the name of Christ should be free from any and all kinds of demonic influences. Look at me. The spirits, wicked spirits, are behind the tragedies and the ills that are in the lives of men 
and families. Believe it or not. He said, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. But Satan hindered us. He's hindered families. I want to pray. Some of you will marvel and wonder. Can I tell you, most of the things you wrote here as a prayer request. Demon spirits walk like an octopus. They will touch several aspects of your life and confuse you. But it's one and the same spirit. But when that spirit by the authority of the name of Jesus is taken out of the way. I have seen what the power of God can do over demons and I can have seen the testimonies that come when people are genuinely set free I am come he said that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly it is a thief that cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy now I want to pray there are spirits that have sat upon the destinies of men some of you mysterious occurrences around your life that will not let you go forward I want to pray I want to, that's why I said clear the way because they are going to bring some other people here. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. It is a name that is above every other name. Exalted as Lord and Christ. And as you shout that name, every planting that is not of God must give way. It's time for your liberty. It says to open up the prisons to those that are bound. To set the captives free. Father, I decree and declare that in the name of he that died and rose again, exalted as Lord and Christ, every spirit that is not of the Christ, standing the way of your people, as they shout, the healer, let it be like the crumbling of the walls of Jericho. Are you ready now? At the count of three, shout that name, Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I command those devils, go now I command those spirits release their destinies now bring them out by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I break every yoke I command every activity of witchcraft and diabolism it leaves you now releasing your destiny I declare that release I command Satan let God's people go free in the name of Jesus blotting out every handwriting and ordinances that spoke against us he nailed it to his cross and if the Son sets you free you are free indeed I declare your liberty I declare your liberty from affliction your liberty from every demonic activity bring them out hallelujah now please hear me the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing chains on people's hands your hand is a symbol of your productivity I want to pray for you the fire of God is coming and bringing you great deliverance I'm seeing the number 21 21 people i'm seeing that this fire is coming upon them right now i decree and declare wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead i come i command those chains be broken right now chains be broken be broken help them please be broken in the name of jesus christ chains be broken In the name of Jesus Christ, chains be broken. Ah, 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 ah.
I'm hearing a name Stephanie is there someone with that name Stephanie the Lord wants to visit you right now the Stephanie I'm seeing is wearing red complete red is there someone like that Stephanie please don't come out carelessly make sure that you fall into this category Stephanie I want to pray for you what he says to one he says to all I want to pray for you In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that every planting that is not of God by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I decree and declare it comes to an end now. Agree with them and shout amen. In the name of Jesus. Wow. I just saw light across the minister stand. I shouldn't say this, but I just saw light. I, I saw the anointing coming on two people right now just on the, the minister's seat just light and the Lord is saying a season is coming to an end and another season is opening I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands by the power of the Holy Spirit let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ even one of the ministers is receiving a grace for prayer the spirit of prayer and supplication that grace help them please my God please help them in the name of Jesus that grace for prayer and supplication is coming upon you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you